there and welcome to another journal with me video. I'm Natasha and today I'm using my junk journal and I'm using this word follow as a prompt for me to spend some time with God and to see where that leads. Um, I actually started this journaling page just after Christmas and then it got a little bit waylaid and I've come back to it so there's a little bit of time passed between me starting it and actually finishing it. So for this journaling page, I was focusing on the word follow. And like I said, it was just after Christmas um, when I was doing this and I was using a resource from the Church of England called Follow the Star, which was a series of prompts um, to help you think and reflect on the Christmas season in between sort of Christmas and Epiphany, which happens on the 6th of January. And I was just really struck by the story of the wise men. Um, you know, it's one of the stories that is really um, well known. Even people who don't go to church often know it. And often with those stories, I find that they lose some of their meaning to us. We just get so used to hear, hearing them that we don't often hear them properly anymore. Um, and so I've been really focusing and reflecting on that story. And as I started this page, I just started by journaling um, some of my thoughts around it and how the wise men, you know, had initially been following God's signs, had been following the star, but then they went and relied on their own wisdom um, instead of carrying on following the star. So they decided instead of seeing where the star led them to, they thought, oh, I know where a king would be born because um, that's who they knew they were going to find king will be born in the palace let's go see king herod um and then you can see here i am adding some collage and i apologize for the speed of it i put it on time lapse by accident um so you've got a very speeded up version of me adding some collage um but yeah um i then decided to add some texture to the page so i was using some gesso and some um a stencil just to add a bit of texture and i loved how with the collage i'd had used some maps again i was really thinking about that journey and following the star um and like i said the wise men they ended up going to see king herod because they assumed that's where the king would be and because of that they put jesus in danger because king herod was then wanting to find out where this king was um but if they just followed the star, they would have ended up where um, Jesus was. And you can see now that I decided to add some colour to the page. Um, it's not something I've done in this journal before. I use it in lots of my other journals, use my paints. But in this journal, I've been mainly using collage. So I got some of my acrylic inks out and just decided to add some colour to the background just to brighten the page up.
when I'd started this page, I'd had this idea of using the image of a star um, and having the background black and the, the idea that the star um, is what we follow. Um, you know, obviously that is what the wise men were following, but for us as Christians, um, you know, we are following God's word. We are following um, the inspiration from the Holy Spirit. And that was the idea that I kind of wanted to get from this page was that even today we still follow God and we follow where God leads us. Um, sometimes it's to unexpected places. You know, the wise men were expecting to find the king in the palace because that's where you find kings. Um, but actually they found him just in a humble home. Um, unlike the traditional Christmas cards that we often see, he probably wasn't still in the stable. Um, Jesus was probably um, a toddler by the time uh, the wise men arrived and was living at home with his mum and dad. Um, but it was still um, somewhere humble, it wasn't um, a grand palace and it just got me thinking about how sometimes we expect God to lead us to certain places um, or that he's calling us to certain places and actually um, it's not always what we might expect and sometimes that can be hard if we've got a certain idea in mind but actually we just need to be open to where God is taking us and um, so I grabbed my Payne's Grey ink for this part and I initially started using it quite um, lightly so quite watered down um, but it wasn't giving me the coverage that I wanted it to I wanted it to be I wanted the star to really stand out so I did add um, it darker a little bit later on So then it was just a few more finishing touches. I got my white gel pen out and decided to go around the star again. I'd initially used that to draw the star in but you couldn't see it anymore because of the ink so <clears throat> I went over the top of the paint just to make the star really stand out and really pop. Um, and then my camera ran out or my battery ran out on my phone sorry and so you don't get to see the rest of the process for this video but I just decided to add um, some gold paint around the top of the star as you can see in this video um, I've just outlined it in some gold ink I added the word follow um, using some cut out letters I lost the initial one that I'd found the one that I used at the very start of the video don't know where it's disappeared to um, but I got some tissue paper and added the word follow and then I just wrote in my white gel pen um, Lord God, I pray that I will follow you um, wherever you may lead. And that feels like quite a bold prayer to pray in some ways. Um, you know, it's it's all right saying that, but actually when it comes to it, do we actually believe that? Do we actually follow where God leads? Um, and then you can see here, I'm just adding a few white splatters just to add a little bit of interest to the page. Uh, but yeah, that's the completed page using the word follow, um, which is a really big word for me at the moment um, for lots of different reasons. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you like the page. Um, I'd love to see your creations if you create something similar to. Until next time, goodbye.